Hello, Gemini. It is time for your beginning of July reading for this current year. So we get to see what is going on with y'all. Okay. This is going to be Thunderdome, so it's going to be a little bit different than it was last time. We also have this side being you, this side being your person, and this is what happens if you approach each other. Could be switched to roof for cross watchers, so um, take that into account accordingly. Also, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Geminis. So look alive. If it don't resonate with you, do not worry about it. It's just a card game. For those of you, this does resonate with though. You're waiting. Wait. Yeah, you're waiting. Sorry, I had to make sure that wasn't upside down. Um, you are waiting <laughs> for someone who isn't even up on this side yet. Like, it looks like someone could be there, but they're not there yet. And it's like, could be a Libra you're dealing with. But it's like some sort of head over heart decision you're having a hard time getting over. And whatever it is that's coming into mind, just. I feel like isn't working or you're not saying anything about it because like it's not working it's like you can't separate your brain from your heart in this situation like your judgments clouded yeah it's like something really sentimental And you're trying your best to recover from it. It's just not working the way you want to anymore. Like you want to recover, you want to rejuvenate, but it's just not happening. And it's turning out to be more of a burden than what you were assuming it to be. Right? Let's look at the person you're dealing with. Them. Oh, could be an empress right here. Could be Aries, Libra, Taurus, the Venetian energy. Very loving, very kind, very motherly. Um, has issues. <laughs> I'm sorry, but like it's kind of like oh, the devil right there. Um, could be Capricorn. Could be somebody dealing with a relationship. You know, that's, yeah, because she's on top of this deck at the moment. Um, she could also be being unfair, but this is definitely a relationship where the two people are projecting onto each other, and, like, the devil's just sitting here watching. Not even influencing it, he's just watching, but his very presence there um, just draws in more things about them that they don't really like about each other. Also could be revealing secrets as well, because, you know... It's like they're covering themselves up and it's like they're almost hiding from the truth and like doing really naughty things that keep them chained to each other. Well, that was just sitting here like, I know everything, you can come ask me. <laughs> uh, yeah, this person could have walked away after feeling like they were bested by you, which was like, I think a really hard decision for them because it's like it, they're protecting their heart. I think they would probably work something out with you, though. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, like, moving forward, you know. Uh, they might be basing... A lot of how they feel, what is right or wrong on their emotions from childhood or what they've learned growing up. Like, that's part of the key right there. Like, the kid's holding the key. So there's some innocence in play in this, I feel like. Could also be Taurus. I'm gonna pull one more because this is like. It seems like this person cares. I also, like, I think they almost feel like moving forward, they realize that they just did it to themselves too. 
So, there's that. Um, or they feel like they let this happen to themselves almost. Like eclipsing themselves by like just staring at it, just possibly even trying to kill their old ways. Let's see. What's on your side? You're slowly but surely coming up with an offer. Uh, could be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Because you're kind of like out of whack. Or maybe you feel like you just don't have something presentable and that's what's taking so long. And but you're and you might be unsure about what options to really take involved in this. But you do want to reach out and communicate, possibly deal with an Aquarius as well. Maybe you'll talk to an Aquarius and they can tell you a thing or two. Um, now you are good on your own. Like you're perfectly fine on your own. Right? But Without this person, you kind of feel insecure. And it's pissing you off that it's taking this long. Okay, I see. Okay, now. This person? I think they're paying more attention to what snakes are in their yard than anything else. So, they might have separated from you, but I think it's because, like, definitely with, like, the Hierophant Shadow side upright, it was kind of like, you know, maybe something with their childhood has something to do with it. I don't know, maybe it did something that, like, they remember from when they were a kid and it just fucked them up and you didn't realize it. I don't know. Um, they're guarding stuff and they feel like they're being tempted to come out of whatever it is they're protecting. And they want to take action towards you, but they're not sure, so they're just like, you know what, I'm just going to go the other way. And they're like, I do want to go this way. It's tempting to go this way, but I'm going to go this way, even though I don't know where this is going. You know, because I think, yeah, this is the one card that made me say uh, a forced, a forced reunion is a dead new beginning, because it's like, these people are resurrected, but they're zombies. It's like... What good is it gonna bring? Like they see it as a pipe dream, and they're just taking their cups, their cup away because they really believe that you know uh, something wouldn't work. It's like they feel like they don't have the skills to make something work. Whether it comes to dealing with you or otherwise, it's just like. But they are protecting their own emotions in doing this. But you know, like yeah, uh, maybe they woke up in time to. Uh, catch everything. I feel, yeah, that's what I kind of feel like with that a little bit. Because it's kind of like, um, everything was burning and it's almost like the smell got their attention. Okay, what happens if you approach each other? Something might be a bad idea or not resurrected and someone might be losing their shit. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So you could be dealing with yourself or somebody else. People did not come together with this because it's just not not good. There has to be some exposures of some like bad things. Like this is this person's issue. It's like they know that there's something negative in all this. When you, when you and your person are together, there's something up, and I think they recognize this. And that might be why I feel like they might have taken off from you. Like there was something wrong and they couldn't pick it up. Um, you might be looking out over it all this and starting to possibly see. They might express this devil energy to you as well and explain. And you might be actually be able to see over time if they, if, if, if you listen. That is the most important thing, if you listen. Because Gemini, you're great communicators, but when it comes to actually listening, Sometimes you guys don't realize you aren't doing that. And then you're confused when you don't know what, um... Sometimes gets to people. And I feel like this is going to be a time where you're actually going to listen 
to what somebody else is saying in order to see um, what's actually going on and it causes you to understand what was unfair or maybe you guys discuss how this person was given more fortunate events because you did possibly have something in your pocket that was of value but it's definitely some unfairness and maybe there's something that this person was given that could have led to some jealousy but I, I don't know I don't know I guess it's with the seven of Pentacles but I feel like there's almost jealousy involved in this at least by this person but this person's on your side so yeah but cross watchers you can switch this around if you need to yeah yeah same with Gemini you can do too so a decision has to be made here and it'll end this burden that's been going on for a while because this side you guys definitely have it going on now what will come of this tower being avoided? Bam! Oh. Mm. Give me a second. Okay, someone doesn't. Okay, the tower isn't taking because so someone doesn't have the passion to move towards the tower. Like, the illusion isn't coming down yet, but it is made. It, and it's like. Someone doesn't want to let them know, but they do want to let someone know that, like, they are apologetic. Like, they don't want to face the tower, but they do want to send the message that, um... I don't know, I'm sorry for my... piece of... bullshit... behavior. I'm sorry I was a... immature... immature... person? That's what it kind of feels like. Hmm. Very interesting, Gemini. So, that's your reading. Uh, thank you very much for watching the video. If you want a personal reading, my email's down below in the description box. I don't charge, but I take donations and tips. You guys have a good day. Like, share, and subscribe if that's what you want to do, and I'll see you later. Bye. -bye.